welcome back. Joining us now to answer your tax questions is Pam King Smith of King King and Associates. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. We're going to get right to it because we got a lot of questions this morning. Let's start okay. with the first one. I'm a first time home buyer. I bought the home with my boyfriend and we're not married. How do we both claim the tax write offs when filing separate? Okay. So if both people are on the mortgage loan, you're both entitled to take the mortgage interest and the real estate taxes. Okay. So the two people can decide whether they want 50 50 or if it's better for one person to take 100% of it. So they kind of have to do their returns and see which works better, but they're both entitled to split that interest okay. in real estate taxes. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, another question, my daughter recently moved, changed her address before we received her 1098. My husband and I were responsible for all tuition payments for 2016. We're afraid that she has received the forwarded form and will not release it to us. How do we include this information to our tax return if we have no form? Okay. A couple of assumptions. I'm assuming that they are first able to claim the daughter as yeah. a dependent and that they are able to take the education credit. The 1098 is the form that they get from the college saying how much tuition they paid. So since the form does not get attached to the return, if they know how much they've paid in tuition, they can go ahead and put that on the line. They okay. don't have to have the form to do the return properly. So okay. they so would have to know though how much they paid in tuition. They're going to have to look yeah. back at all those checks, right? right. <laughs> all right, here's another one. My daughter is 16. She has an SSA 1099 form. I'm trying to find out if she can file the 1040 easy form. If she is able to file this form, what line do we report the income on? And is this taxable income to my daughter? Okay, so SSA income, which is from Social Security Administration, for the 16-year-old is not taxable to her. So she does not have to file the return, at least for that portion. If the okay. daughter worked and had a little W-2, she may want to file that to get any refund. But that Social Security income is not taxable to the 16-year-old. Okay. okay. Uh, here's one. I just was approved this week for medical insurance. I received a letter from the IRS to notify me about a penalty for 2015 taxes up to uh, about $1,389. I am ready to do my 2016 taxes, so what will happen now? So I'm assuming that, again, for a 2015 return, she filed it and didn't calculate maybe the penalty for not having the health insurance, because you know there's a penalty. So that's what that $1,300 sounds like. Okay. When she does her 16 return, if she has a refund and hasn't paid that 15 penalty, they'll take that and apply it to it, or she can, um, Contact the IRS and maybe make up uh, make a payment arrangement with Plan. them for that yeah for that thirteen hundred. But once she files the sixteen return, they probably will take that and apply it to that amount money that they owe for fifteen. It'll get adjusted. If she, yeah, if she has a refund for sixteen. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm on disability. I work fifteen hours a week. My rent is paid by how much I make. Can I put that on my income tax? And by that, I think they, are they talking about the rent? Uh, money so rent is they not, didn't tell me <laughs> right the rent is not uh, deductible so th that has nothing to do with the tax return um, the only thing that they would report is the hours that they're working if they get that w-2 from okay. the 15 hours a week um, so I'm not sure exactly what they're asking about but rent is not deductible okay so if you have questions make sure to be specific with those questions <laughs> so we can answer them thank you so You're much welcome. I appreciate it and if we didn't get to your question this morning we will answer it next week so keep them coming you can email tax questions directly to tax questions at wbaltv.com or go to our website wbaltv.com and click on consumer alert and if you'd like to get in touch with the Kings you can call them the number is 410 486-4500. You can also check out their website at www.kingking.com.